mind everyone so in today's video we're gonna be doing a Mexican food tour but not just any Mexican food tour because we're in Oaxaca and Oaxaca is considered as the food capital of Mexico there's loads of specific food in this region that you'll probably have never seen before and we want to try them all out in this video First up is this nice spot here. We're gonna be eating this here. It's called Playuda. And that's gonna be 80 pesos. And we're also gonna get some agua de fruta natural for 20 pesos. So here we have our first dish. It's called Playuda. And it's also known as the Mexican pizza because of its form. It's like a pizza with a lot of cheese and cheese. Pumpkin leaves. Pumpkin leaves. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is from corn, right? Every, yeah. Everything here is from corn. All the tortillas. So I'm not entirely sure how you eat this thing, but I guess you just, I don't know, take bits of it off, pieces. Also has cheese. We forgot to oh, mention yeah, that. Oh yeah, forgot so to cheese. mention. Probably got some avocado on there. Tomato mm. maybe. And this is the vegetarian version, but people usually eat with meat. Yeah, it is basically just a big taco. Yeah. So similar taste to a taco. Okay. Lots of flavor though. Um, very crunchy. Mm. Got this chili as well. <laughs> yeah, it's spicy. Be careful. I'm not a chili person. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> especially in Mexico, right? Their yeah. spice is strong. Mm. Really good though. And the juice they gave us, it's Avena and um, Canela, which is cinnamon. So similar drink to what we had the other day here. Very tasty though. Refreshing for the spice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's good. I like the taste of the calabaza flower. Yeah. I've never had it before, so it's Yeah, I don't different. think I've ever eaten it either. It is good, crunchy, crunchy like the said. Yeah. yeah, it's super crispy and thin, the base. The Mexican pizza. <laughs> Has a cool appearance. I was imagining something like chocolate, 
but it's yeah, not, it's not so chocolatey. No, no, but it's still good. And I think the sweetness is on the right point. Not too sweet, but also has a good taste. It's almost like water, like the texture. Yeah, it is it's watery. Not like milk. Yeah, it's not thick. Like good. chocolate drinks are usually quite thick, right? But this is like super watery. And it's an interesting market, right? They have a bit of everything. The meat. Yeah. You can see them all cooking it outside uh, in the everywhere open. Everywhere you go, they try to get you to their restaurant, yeah. like the ladies offering <laughs> food. Yeah, an interesting place to come. different market right next to the one we were at it's called Benito Juarez and this one seems to sell more like vegetables fruits things like that and we've actually come here to eat some insects we've never really eaten full insects before and that's one of the popular things here so we're gonna find out where they are Some big ones. Yeah. Okay, grande. Compra. The crunchy one. Quanto cuesta? 25. 25. Okay, gracias. So I got this bag of chapulines, which is grasshopper. So me and Kyle have never tried really bugs before. I think we had like some grasshoppers sprinkled on our food here in Oaxaca the other day, but never eaten it in whole. So yeah, check this bug out. Yeah, I can focus. Yeah, look at that little grasshopper. So there's like a lemon squeezed on it, so it's basically just a lemon taste, but then you have like the texture of the crunchy insect. Yeah. <laughs> Some people might find that disgusting. Oh, that leg. Uh, mm. <laughs> so this is actually famous uh, throughout Mexico. It's not just this region, but it's very common here and it's a good source of protein. So in the rural areas, they actually eat this a lot. I think in some other areas, it's more of like a delicacy. Carol doesn't want to try it out. No, I'm okay, thank you. Mm, try it out, Carol, delicious no. grasshopper. <laughs> I'm okay. Agua Fresca, this is called Jamaica, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. We drank this in the last video, yeah. although it wasn't so big. Look at the size of that. Wow. <laughs> 18, yeah, 18 pesos. Yep, tastes good just like last time. But Oaxaca also has many trendy and nice cafes and restaurants So we thought we might as well go to one and try their food So the place we're going is called Yerba Dulce And it's kind of a vegetarian vegan place, so let's check it out So this place is really cool inside We're in like the little square in the middle of the building Looks really nice And they gave us this starter that the guy said is pre-Hispanic So it's just cucumber with a lime and salt Never had that before. And this is just included for free. Yeah. Yeah. He told us to put the lime lemon for and then the, the salt. Oh sprinkle the salt after. Yeah. 
How is it? I'm not a fan of cucumber, but it's better than the regular cucumber without salt and without lemon. Oh yeah, so there you go. She don't like cucumber, but tastes a bit better with this. So we're now going to try one of the most famous things here in Oaxaca, which is the mollies, which is a kind of sauce, I think, right? Like yeah, a yeah. marinade sauce. So I got this dish here, which is amarillo, uh, yellow. There's seven uh, main mollies here in Oaxaca. So I got amarillo. Uh, Carol over there got rojo, right? Yeah, the which red one. Red. So the main ingredient in the yellow molly is red guajillo chilies. Hopefully I said that right. So. <laughs> And there's some other stuff in here. I have to read what the ingredients are on the menu. This was uh, 80 pesos. I added uh, mushrooms, hongos for an extra 30. Ooh, spicy. Oh yeah. Yeah, very spicy. Since the molly is like a sauce, I think you can also eat with the, some tortillas. Yeah. They brought some. Yeah, they had some here. Mine is with enchiladas, but yours, you you have the tortillas to eat with. Yeah. I think inside is only a mushroom. Mm. Are you trying to do like a wrap? Yeah, here we go. The Chris tortilla wrap. Makes no sense. <laughs> This is the clueless way to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes good though. All right, Carol's gonna dig into hers. Looks really good. Yeah, so there is pantano, which is the bananas and enchiladas, and also the almond cheese. Since this is a vegan place, the, the mole, which is made from... Chilchuacle. Chilchuacle chilies. chilies. <laughs> That's a hard one to say. We definitely said that wrong. Sweet. Yours is sweet. Mine isn't. Mine's really spicy. It's a little bit spicy, but it's kind of sweet. Nice though. Yeah, it is nice. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if there's anything inside. Maybe not. So Carol said the banana is the best part. The best part, yeah. <laughs> I love the plantains, but I, I've tried to cook them at home, but I can't. It never works out. No. There was only like four little pieces, right? Yeah. Um, saving them for the, the end. Oh, the best still left. Yeah. That's this. Mole verde. Mole verde. Oh, nice. So now the second dish has arrived. This one is mole verde, which is a green sauce. From the smell of it, it smells a lot better than the yellow one. R really strong smell. And inside there's like a chayote, potatoes, and white beans, so yeah, lots of different ingredients. Might be still too hot, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I already like it more than the other one. Oh, yeah. Not as spicy also. Okay. And you feel the taste of the vegetables or just yeah. the sauce? No, mainly the vegetables actually. Oh, Let me try okay. the sauce on its own. really nice sauce. I don't actually know how to describe it, but it's like slightly spicy only, but yeah, different kind of sauce. And this sauce is mainly made of uh, pumpkin seeds and green chilies, so that's where you get the, the most color. of the taste, yeah, and the, the green color. <laughs> so I lost the green sauce dish to Carol. Yeah, I stole it from you. It's better than the yellow one, right? Yeah. Cilantro taste as well. Yeah, I think that's what I was just feeling as well. But it's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. Better than yours? Yeah. Yeah. I think the best uh, dish we had today, at least for me. Yeah, I probably agree. This is the nicest one. Molly Behede. I'm finishing the meal off with a mango ice cream, which was 40 pesos. I don't think there's anything specifically Oaxacan about this one. 
And Kyle's also got some ice cream, but hers is actually a Oaxacan like dish, right? Yeah, it's like a vegetarian, not vegetarian, vegan version of a Oaxacan dessert, which is leche quemada ice cream, and it's made with almond milk. Nice. Good. What's on top? Is that raspberry? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> oh, maybe it's strawberry, like... Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. I like the texture, it's like smooth. I don't know, it's, but it's good. Mm. Yeah, mine's uh, pure fruit, so there's no milk or anything. Gotta check that out. Pure mango. Really delicious. Nice and sweet. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let us know which food looked the most appetizing from your screen. And there's a lot more food around here. There's only so much we can eat in a day. We could probably do numerous videos because there's all different variations and yeah, just different kinds of food. But it was interesting for us to make, discovering all these different foods that are available here. So as always, if you like the video, just drop a like as usual. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this or from Mexico at the moment. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.